Well, we're getting ready to splash the boat on the Detroit River and do some hand lining. Everybody else is jigging today, but a little bit muddy water conditions. I think we're going to do better uh, hand lining. So Jenny's never done it before. So we're trying to decide which one to do and pull wire. The major components of hand lining are you got the reel, you've got the weight, and then you've got a shank in between. And that shank allows you to put a leader on and uh, have lures back behind it. So we're gonna run two lures per side. Weight is gonna bump the bottom like this. And as it bumps the bottom, the lures are gonna be trailing behind it. And we're gonna be weaving back and forth across this current. This is just an extremely effective way to fish uh, off colored water, uh, muddy or um, really stained water. This is just highly, highly effective way to fish. So should be fun. Although the river was clearing from the recent rains, we decided to have some fun hand lining with a couple of Riviera reels, some weights, and boxes of floating Rapalas and Junior Thunder Sticks we were fishing. While the kicker motor moves us upstream very slowly, the motor guide helps steer a zigzag pattern, working the run and presenting the baits to the walleye holding over the spawning gravel. So I could just feel the fish. Kind of, kind of hooked under the chin, so I'm going to throw it back. I'm sure he had the other hook in him. I'm sure he probably had both hooks in him at one point, but that's how easy it is. We got a spring reloaded reel up front, and it just takes in the line as you use it. Um, so as you want more line, you just let more line out, and the weight pulls it out. And then when you want to go back up, you pull up, and it takes up line for you. So it's just a way of keeping you um, your line uh, maintained while you're fishing. Um, you could probably just have it sitting on the floor if you wanted, but it'd be a big mess. So they developed, way back in the day, they developed a Victrola box, and they would take that and they would wind wire on it, put the box up in the front of their boat, and they would just use it that way, and it was all spring-loaded, and then they started developing these reels. So it's kind of a neat history, and it's, it's so effective in muddy water that some tournaments have outlawed it over the years. So it's kind Why of neat. Is it? Why is it so much more effective? It's so effective because with jigging, you're bouncing down the river and your jig goes past the fish so quickly. And this current, you know, two, three, four miles an hour current, it's just flying by that, that fish. When I'm hand lining, I'm sliding back and forth and I'm moving upstream. So that fish might see that lure or feel the lure in the mud. And as it comes by him, I mean, it takes three, four, five seconds to get by him. It sits in front of him for a lot longer. So it gives him an opportunity to hit it. So that's why it's so effective in muddy water. And you've got a plug that's wiggling down there. And, the fish can feel it with their lateral line real well. You got one? Yeah, I do. I'm going to do what Gabe taught me. Look at that. Not the biggest fish in the world, but I'll take it. There we go. Hey. First hand lining walleye. Woohoo! That's fun. Yeah, he makes it. Very cool. Jason's got another one on. He's schooling us today. Nice. Right back there. Got him on the short one. It's kind of fun hand to hand, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Oh, that. That's a better one. You're like an old pro at this. A couple yeah. of nice ones there. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Woo. Oh yeah, Both twins. <laughs> Sweet. Nice That's work. That's awesome. It's fun. Very good. I only got two fish. Uh -huh. I'm not done fishing yet. We have proof. <laughs> All right, beauty. There we 
go. Not a bad cool fish. <laughs> Very nice. Cool. We are having a heck of a day on the Detroit River this morning. We uh, probably could catch fish jigging and whatever whatever technique you wanted to fish, but I just like hand lining. It's so much fun. Oh, this one's on the lower, I think. Yeah. has been a fun, fun morning. I say morning because it's still morning. And I think this might be our last fish of the day. We're done out here, but what a great time. If you've never tried hand lining, come down here to the Detroit River, get away from the crowd a little bit and give it a whirl. It's a lot of fun. Maybe Gabe will come teach you. <laughs>